So in the last two sessions, we have uh, seen these uh, three demos. I mean the host only network demo, a drag and drop option, uh, fake net installation in my virtual machine. So uh, you have to download this uh, fake net simulation uh, software in this uh, URL practical malware analysis.com slash fake net. It is available in a compressed format, zipped format. You can download it uh, uh, the same file in your host computer. Uh, as a zipped format and you can drag and drop in your uh, virtual machine um, and you can if you have been extracting that uh, zipped format uh, folder will be there a folder opening this uh, that folder you can find a fake net.exe file and while executing as a run as administrator you can see um, how the uh, virtual machine is assimilated with the internet communication so i have also listed uh, some of the urls where you can download the static analysis tools uh, free hex editor, compute hash, a file is, is also an another tool. So exe info, PE, uh, PE is a portable executable, bin text, PE studio, and the notepad plus you have plus plus you have also seen this uh, uh, somewhere else, right? So these uh, tools will use it to identify um, the files, uh, actually they identify the malware, um, how it has been packed right how it has been compiled whether it is an executable file or whether it is a pdf file or a document file whether the strings are embedded with, the, with that file uh, we can we can do some analysis with the help of this uh, tools i'm going to share this url in the upcoming video uh, just which which i'm going to upload in the youtube so you can see this url in the description of that video you can download and you can use this uh, i mean um, <coughs> Uh, tools for uh, doing your static analysis right static analysis the main objective of the static analysis is what kind of file is actually you are going to deal with right if you are getting a malware you are going to do a static analysis that is our objective right so while doing the static analysis what is the first objective so what kind of file is this so you have you are going to identify what kind of file is this whether it is a pdf file whether it is a document file embedded with exe file whether it is a portable executable file so what kind of file you are going to identify is the first objective the second objective is is any information is already known about it so how you can find out uh, the informations which is already known about it so you can um, um, extract the hash signature from that file and you can do a google search with that hash file so by doing this google uh, google search or you can um, uh, search the hashes in the virus total website you can easily find out some information which is uh, say for example if it has been if that malware has been already analyzed by some uh, uh, by someone and somebody else so this is the second objective third objective is what do the embedded strings tell about? So definitely a malware should have some strings. So what we are going to see in the next module and uh, the next session. So this string will tell uh, will tell you uh, some behavior of the malware, right? Uh, whether it is going to drop a registry file, whether it is going to drop a folder in Windows 32 uh, folder. So it is. It is. It will tell. It will tell you. Oh, the string will tell you oh, what actually the malware is going to behave. The fourth objective is: Is there anything unusual in the PE header? PE header is a very important analysis in static and uh, static analysis. PE is nothing but portable executable. So we are going to analyze a malware file. Uh, in that malware file, we are going to deeply analyze the PE header. Uh, we'll let you know in the next model. So and the, finally. So is this uh, file, the malware is packed or not? Say for example, uh, um, a malware author is writing some malware malicious file. Uh, he he want, the ma he want the malware analysis, uh, he don't want the malware analysis to unpack the file easily. So if I am a malware analyst, uh, I am analyzing a malware file. Um, I want to analyze a malware file, I have to unpack the malware file initially. So oh, the malware author is actually doing um, some process uh, to make some complication on that malware file um, uh, uh, for getting unpacked. So this is our objective. So the first is what kind of file I'm going to identify, what are all the informations 
I am going to get to know and then third one is the embedded strings in that particular malware is what is actually going to tell and then the fourth one uh, whether the P header is having some unusual things and finally uh, is it uh, is the malware is packed or not static analysis tool um, what we are actually dealing with is static analysis can still uh, lead to malware execution so know how your malware analysis tool works so it ensures the, the are, uh, there are no backdoors while downloading these tools and all so i have shown some links and where you are where you can download some static analysis malware analysis tools right so you have to check twice before uh, i mean installing that malware analysis tool in your virtual machine because some uh, malware analysis tool will uh, exhibit some malicious behavior also some malware author has embedded some malicious strings in the uh, tool itself so you have to make uh, sure make ensure that this uh, um, uh, how this uh, um, uh, malware analysis tool will work and ensure that there is no backdoor and all ensure your tools is not actually a malware and all so you keep eye uh, you keep on eye on on the malware analysis tool while uh, dealing with that tools so the first tool what we are going to see here is the um, uh, first uh, uh, process what we are going to do in the static analysis is file identification so file identification is um, uh, determining the type of your file that you're actually examining so i'm going to execute i'm going to analyze the malware so what kind of file uh, actually i am examining i am actually i am evaluating so assessing so i'm going to determine the type of the file and then second thing is malware authors try to mask the files actually by having some double extension say for example it is an executable file malware malicious file is a executable executable file so, sometimes they will uh, change that extension into an uh, doc file say for example 1.exe is a malware file i am going to rename that into a uh, 1.exe.doc file so it, it, it seems that it is a document file unknowingly some victims can execute that mal uh, malware so malware authors are trying to mask the files maybe a double extensions or they are going to archives they, they are going to compress with some uh, software tools and finally i am going to find out the packer what kind of packer the malware author has used for packing that malware so these are all the things i am going to see so uh, determine what type of file this is my first thing second one is uh, whether it is an exe file or a document file or a pdf file i am going to analyze and whether it has been archived it has been compressed and also i am going to find out the packer of that particular malware so this is a tool to find out um, uh the basic string of a malware right the basic string of a malware so for that uh, we will see a demo right um i'm opening my virtual machine so in this virtual machines i have downloaded right um frhd frhd is nothing but free hexa editor it is nothing but free hexa editor it has been available in the url what i have mentioned earlier and it is in the form of installer file you drag and drop here in this virtual machine so it is in the form of uh, yeah this is the setup file so you have to install this file and you can create a shortcut of this file in your desktop right i am going to examining a particular malware say for example i am having a malware it is in my malware sample folder so this is my consider this is my infected.exe is a malware so i'm going to execute i i'm going to see the basic strings of my uh, malware so for that i am opening this um, um, free hex editor and i am dragging this infected.exe into this uh, tool so you can see here right there's some basic strings so the the, the first basic string is here uh, the m is it if it is an executable file if it is an executable file then the first string will be mz and uh, right mz so and corresponding hex uh, hexadecimal value is 4d5a 4d5a is my uh, corresponding hexadecimal value and there is an another string is there this program 
cannot be run in DOS mode. So and its corresponding uh, hexadecimal value. So this is the uh, second basic string. And you can also find some yeah so these are all the basic strings you can find here So we can also see some basic uh, strings say for example if it is a PE portable executable files the string is here right PE is there and its corresponding I mean uh, 5045 is the corresponding hexadecimal value. 